Article 3 regarding the egg, egg shortage issue, right? Uh, you proposed for the Agriculture Minister, Ministry to come and uh, look at your thing. Uh, Even the first day of Chinese history, I explained to the Prime Minister, mm -hmm. I said it's more practical to come to Johor, especially Malacca and Johor are the two states that will export eggs to Singapore. And you do not need to go to uh, even uh, India for that matter. You come to Johor, and especially my Kawasan, we handle over uh, farms, and chicken farms, and then producing eggs. So, why can't you just come here and understand their problem? And according to Dawson, the cost for producing one egg is about 45 cents. But your control price is 41 cents. It means people will not do anything because if I want to pay for the losses, I will not do it. See, this business. But if you allow that, I'm not proposing that we should increase. Since we have this subsidy mechanism, and you think that it will not solve your problem, so why don't you just give the top part of my cents and float it? And the uh, family B40 still get it. You know? And if you allow the eggs, uh, uh, imported from India to sell at 50 cents. Why can't the local uh, uh, you, you, you allow them to float at 50 cents? And I'm sure with 50 cents, a lot of people will sell it in Malaysia. For a simple reason, supply and demand. If the cost, as uh, outlined as uh, uh, reported by Dawson, that is in the month of uh, December, already stated 45 cents, that is nobody, no one will do. Uh, Business without making any money. So just be practical. You come here and then to Singapore. In, in the past, they used to depend heavily on Malaysia, they did the eggs from Malaysia. But now they have 17 countries. Uh, 17 countries, maybe it's not only Malaysia. Every time you say we would export, they increase more countries. So they even pay for a higher price. If the local can do it and the eggs from Yongbeng can reach Singapore on that. Very day, the morning, they collect all the eggs, they send us out. Then we enjoy all the fresh eggs, and including the Malaysian, uh, I mean, the consumers here. So if you rely on the eggs that's imported from India, it simply means all these eggs, after eight, 28 days, you go through this, uh, what they call ports, and then you have to do the, 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 the process, and then to bring in the eggs from India. It takes you three to four weeks. If it's three to four weeks, some eggs you just cannot do it. The sunny side up. Only fresh eggs can do it, right? So we all know this is common sense. In Malaysia, the egg produced here, and this is thing you can eat. So I think it's better. And then if you allow them to sell at 50 cents, do it here. Then if you have the money, you want to continue with the subsidy, go ahead. And I have calculated if the top out of nine cents, eh? For it, you can in two hundred ringgit, they will get two thousand words. It's every day with six eggs and I'm busy the law. Then what's the problem? You can do it. So I think the government is good for the government to consider. I'm happy to note that uh, even uh, some use it, they're considering it, but we have to be fast because we need time to prepare that you know, the farmers. So in thirty five days. Then you can just calculate. Uh, uh, after Chinese New Year will be bulan puasa. Then will be uh, raya. 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 People use it eggs, you know, for kueh, muay, everything, you know. So and the the pet. Ministry, would you say if uh, the ministry comes to wants to come here for a working visit, you welcome them with open arms? Yes, this is the place. I said two thousand over farms, chicken farms in Malaysia. Hundred hundred over is in Jompeng, lah. Right? So you just come here. And here, you don't talk about 50,000, 100,000. We are exporting 1 million eggs to Singapore from here. But then, you know, so if we can produce a million, what's the difference of producing 1.5 million? Even more. If the demand here, we allow them to produce and then they are not running a loss, they will do it. Right? As simple as that. Kalau tak untung, macam mana dia mau menternak? Tak mau. Kalau dia boleh buat, kenapa tidak mengenakan mereka? Saya tak menyarankan kadar itu naik. Sebab kita ada komponen subsidi, walaupun telur sekarang ada subsidi. Tapi kalau kaedah itu sudah tak kena, float saja. Terima kasih.
kalau harga daripada India 5% tu sekali 5% kasi. tak ada masalah sangat jadi bagi saya kita memberi keutamaan kepada penternak dalam domestik dan pada waktu yang sama dia dapat mengukalkan pasaran yang ada di sini so that means they can provide I mean to 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 to, to, to supply the need the demand for, for the domestic market at the same time dia boleh mengekalkan pasaran yang ada di Singapura that's why I give you the statistics in 2019 used to be 72% before that it was very high 72% then 59 uh, uh, 52% 70 then 59 52% and last year uh, below uh, 50% it simply means what every time you say we don't export to Singapore they will reduce that they cannot be too dependent on eggs from Malaysia so they will take from Brunei latest In December, Grace Fu went to uh, Brunei. I imagine the eggs of Brunei will not be cheap. They don't want to diversify the sources, the, 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 the supply of eggs from other countries. In Malaysia can do it happily, they will receive. I mean, the quality of eggs from Dongping you send to Singapore, the same day you get it. So that helps the local farmers. At the same time, you supply to the local, uh, local market. Apa yang saya sebut? Baik. Okey.